Welcome to Disney Project Arkham. Let's discuss the project about cardiac arrhythmias detection in on ECG beat signal using fast for ray transform and artificial neural network. In this paper, fast for ray transform has been used to identify features from on ECG signal. Uh, but in our work, in our proposed work, we will do the minimum, st maximum standard deviation and variance uh, to use as uh, features. Uh, those features generated the training as well as testing data set for the artificial neural network to predict diseases it is found that the system is very robust and can identify and predict features even from highly abnormal ecg this is a big benefit since the ecg pattern varies in many factors from person to person these factors may be height of peaks uh, within of qrs complex presence or absence of peaks heart rate etc qrs complex is the most important section of any ecg and uh, once it has been detected one can use it in another studies or system also high accuracy of this system makes it highly reliable and efficient this is the flow of our process first we load our input image and then we are playing pre-processing step in the pre-processing step uh, noise is new, uh, removing with the help of median filter median filter is a non-linear uh, digital filtering technique often used to remove noises. Such noise reduction is a typical pre-processing step to improve the results of later processing. Median filtering is widely used in digital image processing. Uh, we have seen the sm smoothing filters uh, reduce noise. However, the underlying assumptions is that the neighboring pixels represent additional samples of the same values as the reference pixels. That is, they represent the same features at edges. This is clearly not true and blurring of features results. We have used convolution techniques to implement weighting corners of the neighborhood functions which represents a linear process there are also non-linear neighborhood operations that can be performed for the purpose of noise reduction that can do a better job of preserving edges than simple smoothing filters then we will go for segmentation segmentation refers to the process of partitioning your digital image into multiple segmenters or regions the goal of segmentation is to simplify the representation of an image into something that is more meaningful and easier to analyze here we are applying segmentation for uh, to segment the micro calcifications pixels then we will go for feature extraction for feature extraction here we are applying glcm to extract features available co-occurrence matrix contains information about the position of pixels having similar gray level values there are totally 12 features are extracted contrast correlation cluster prominence cluster shade dissimilarity energy entropy homogeneity maximum probability sum of squares auto and inverse difference moment then extracted features are passed through types, three types of classifiers artificial neural network svm and knn uh, ann works as ANN or computationally models inspired by animal central nervous system that are capable of machine learning and pattern recognition. They are usually presented as systems of interconnected neurons that can compute values from inputs by feeding information throughout the information. Likewise, SVM maps input vector to a higher dimensional vector space where an optimal hyperplan is constructed. Among the many hyperplans available, there is only one hyperplan that maximizes the distance between itself and the nearest data vectors of each category. This hyperplan which maximizes the margin is called an optimal separating hyperplan and the margin is defined as the sum of distance of the hyperplan to the closest training vectors of each category. Then it will recognize uh, belonging the hyperplan then knn works as uh, where both the distance metric and number of neighbors can be uh, altered the object classifies new observation using the periodic predict method that object contains the data used for training so can compute resubstitutioning predictions then it will predict the results 
let us see the execution of the process first select main.m file and click run file now this is a data set these are the signals available for our data all are EEG signals we can select any one of this now I select this signal then process is going on it will take some time uh, these are the we are detects the rpq peaks exactly here we will detect the q peaks for the ecg signal and here we are detect the r peaks and here we are detect the accurate r peaks in the signals and then s peaks are uh, detected in here and the time intervals is calculated here and belonging the uh, eg ecg peak uh, belonging the peak values we are detecting we are extracting the features from this uh, peaks and also minimum maximum features are also extracted from these uh, signals and we will pass it through decision tree classifier then it returns that uh, corresponding EC, EG, sorry, ECG signal uh, it's affected by atrial fibrillation then our algorithm works properly thank you